What is up everybody and welcome to the reset of Far Cry 6. Today is actually a pretty awesome day because we actually get a chance to try the brand new Rambo secret base and mission. So if you guys do have the DLC, remember you're going to be able to participate in the brand new Rambo mission. So I am really excited to share that with you guys if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out. It will be uploaded on the channel recently today. But I do want to let you guys know exactly what's happening on reset. So let's go ahead real quick, go to the insurgency and see what we have available to do. So we have to defeat the insurgency leader. We're going to have to do a 2-2 two two capture FND basis. We have to do two blow anti-aircraft missile cannons. We have to complete the capture checkpoint. And then we also have complete special operation of Los Tres Santos. Remember, you got to do Los Tres Santos to be able to complete these special operations. As far as rewards are concerned, guys, we're going to be getting the base bases loaded, which is going to give you a high caliber single round shotgun. First shot after reload deals improved damage, and then you have improved body shot weapon damage as well. Seems like a very interesting shotgun and definitely one that you guys want to pick up if you guys haven't been able to pick it up already. And then we have special off quick, quick reminder for those of you guys who might just be getting the game. In order to get this key, you got to complete all of these to get the key. I know I mentioned that in every my video, but it seems like every single time I make this video, I always get the same question. Laser, how do you get the special op keys? And what do you I do with it? So this key is going to allow you to open up special boxes that are found within these special operations. And I have videos showing you guys exactly where each location is at in that particular aspect. Now, let's go to the map and see where the insurgency is going to be taking place this time around. It looks like it's going to be taking place in two particular areas. Sierra Perdida, which is going to be located right here. And also Cruz Salvador. So let me show you guys exactly the basis for you guys who might not have the whole entire map discovered. We have an FND base right here. We have one military target right there, another anti-aircraft missile right there, and another military target right here. So that's going to be for uh, Cruz del Salvador. And then for Sierra Perdida, you're going to have an FND base right here, a military target, and then we're going to go here, our aircraft missile base. Then we have another military target, military target, military target, and anti-aircraft missile, anti-aircraft missile, FND base and of course another military target that should give you enough to do guys because you only need to do two of each so you guys should be good with all the ones i mentioned now now we saw the map and we know what's going let's take a look at what the vendor has in store for us guys remember this is uh the one that you have to do is this uh los tres santos this one okay so for the black market this is what we have guys we have the white lightning which is a smg auto pistol uh, so it's like an SMG crossed between a pistol. This is definitely a must get in my book just for the simple fact that if you don't want to go ahead and uh, have to worry about using a pistol as your secondary, this could serve like a uh, SMG. It might have a little bit of recoil, but you could probably tone it down with a couple of mods. And it comes with two mods attachments. So really nice weapon. I would highly recommend you guys pick this one up. Then we also have this one, which is a Motherland's Finest, which is going to be a Russian biggest. Uh, this is actually pretty interesting that we actually get this collectible as a pr premier content. So that's going to be pretty dope. Then we have the Soviet Trousers, which usually this top part right here is mostly going to be, um, you know, it's usually going to be weapons. But this time we have some interesting stuff here, which is going to be the legs. And this is going to improve repair tools. I'll probably skip on that. And last but not least, we have the Eastern Front, which is a sniper rifle. Definitely, this is going to be, guys, the White Lightning Auto Pistol is going to be the way to go. Now, for our uh, latest shipments, this is the time we've had the most of them. And let's take a look. So we have... The Libertad Custom Mark V7. This is actually a pretty good uh, pistol. If you like the pistols, it looks really nice, very clean. Highly recommend you guys pick this one up. It gives you a total of four mods attachments. It already comes with one, but you're able to actually add, an, add three more on right here as well. You also get the Lightning Bolt. Capture the Creative Spark with the very own bolt. So definitely going to be picking this one. Laser Bolt. Got to pick up the bolt, guys. You know I got to do it for these two. We're going to definitely be picking those two up. Then we have this Libertad Custom SMG 11. Another really good gun. So it seems like we have some really good guns coming out this time around. And uh, highly would recommend this SMG is actually pretty good as well. It seems like it has very light damage. But if you notice the rate of fire is at 800. So that means you're going to be firing at a very high fast rate. Then we have the padlock vest. Which is going to be the hunter protection. This is going to improve your animal defense. So if you guys like hunting and you're trying to get a couple of more skins and stuff like that. This is a good viable option. Then we have the padlock bracelet, which is going to improve the amount of animal meat scavenge. Really good, especially if you're farming. And then we have the breach and clear vest, which is going to allow you to carry more remote gadgets. Really good, guys, because remote gadgets are pretty, pretty predominant in the game and very helpful. And then we have the padlock cap, automatically tagged nearby animals. I would probably recommend this one out of all of them because this is actually very helpful, especially if you're trying 
to do some hunting. So the padlock is definitely one I would recommend. And we have more stuff, guys. We have the breech and clear pants. Improved SMG ammo. So this is going to pair very well with this SMG right here. So if you want to have more ammo in the, uh, for your inventory, this is definitely one that you might want to consider. And then we have the gloves. Uh, uh, refills weapon magazine after takedown. Really good if you play stealthy. We have improved sprint speed in dry weather. Okay, so this is not that important. I would probably skip those. Uh, greatly reduced movement speed noise uh, during nighttime. Probably it's another skip as well. Uh, improved animal defense, another skip as well. And then we have killing an enemy with a gadget tags additional enemies. This is actually pretty good, especially if you're going uh, stealthy. This, uh, this helmet is definitely one I would consider because it does give you that stealth approach that's going to allow you to go ahead and do a couple more tagged enemies whenever another gadget actually attaches them. So that's pretty, pretty good. So that's what we have as far as latest shipment and premier content. Now let's take a look at what we have as far as the store is concerned because we should have some really cool stuff as well. So let's go to the store right real quick here. And it's connecting. So we do have this one, guys, which is definitely the bundle. I'm really excited for Can't wait to check it out. So it's called the Ramble Superfan Bundle. So this is going to make you look like Ramble. Look at the hairstyle, boys. Look at the hairstyle on this boy. John Ramble up in here. So you're going to be able to put that hairstyle on your character, which looks pretty dope. It comes with a Ramble M60. So this is going to be a very, very good weapon. Look at this. Looks awesome. I wish it would have had a little bit more flair. Or I wish this would have been a crossbow. That would have been really dope. Or like a throwing knife. That would have made it really, really awesome. But we have a nice uh, LMG right here as well. We have a chain, which is going to be like that. So it's like a little Buddha, if I make that correctly. Let me know if I'm wrong with that one. It looks like a little Buddha doll. Then we have the vest, which looks really awesome too with the whole, uh, you know, uh, LMG, uh, pretty much whole belt on your chest. Looks really awesome. We have the Rambo uh, hairstyle and do. Can't go wrong with that with the red bandana. We have the pants, which is going to allow you to carry more grenades, uh, dynamite, and pipe bombs. Uh, the helmet's going to let you begin reading journey health sooner after taking damage. This is actually really, really good, guys. This one's really, really good. Uh, improved LMG ammo reserve, so that ties in perfect with the LMG. We have the uh, the gloves, which is called Maverick. Improves the speed after the hip fire kills. Okay, that's not that bad. And then we have the boots, which is resist being knocked down by melee attacks. I think overall, definitely the, the wig or the hair is definitely the way to go. But guys, this, this, oh my goodness, that looks dope, the Rambo Chibi. Yeah, boys, you definitely want to pick that up. And it comes with this transport vehicle, which is the Ramble Chopper. Looks really, really awesome. So this bundle looks really cool, especially if you're a Ramble fan. Let me know in the comment section below. Are you a John Ramble fan? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you don't even know who the heck Ramble is, let me know in the comment section down below. Because you'd be like, who the heck be Rambo? What, who's Rambo? Who's that? Who that be? Let me know in the comment section down below. All right. So that's what we have. Of course, Firefighter Bundle. We have the Splinter Cell Bundle. The wool bundles and the Casa de Papel bundles, still not a discount because we haven't been able to get any of these items at the store as well. So that is what we have, guys. So really, really dope. Looks amazing. And can't wait to actually uh, get my hands on that. So let's see if there any weapons got uh, added. No weapons got added, guys. We're still with the same weapons, so no need to do that. But you do get a chance to pick up the White Lightning, which is one of these exclusive weapons, which looks amazing. And if you want to switch over the pistol, you're definitely able to do that. And I guess that's what we have as far as for the reset this time around. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're picking anything up. If you are, what are you picking up? And don't forget, guys, for more Far Cry content, make sure you guys keep it locked to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.